Hello there, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with an After Effects quick tip that goes rather well with the kinetic typography tutorial that I'm currently working on. Now if you've ever used the lens blur effect before, you'll know two things. Uh, one of which it's not multiprocessor enabled, so it doesn't really matter how many cores your system's got. Um, After Effects doesn't really take advantage of them. And uh, B, it's really processor hungry, so uh, it's one of those effects that you tend to add right at the very end of the timeline because uh, it takes a lot of time to render. But uh, if you're looking to create a selective uh, lens blur effect um, without actually using the lens blur, there's a really, really simple way to get around that. Now, as you can see from this uh, basic type layout that I've got, um, I've got a nice vignette already set up, and you should already know how to do that. But I've also got this selective lens blur, which is also kind of vignetting around the, uh, the center. So the, uh, the middle of the uh, composition is nice and sharp, but as you get further and further towards the edge, it gets blurrier and blurrier. Now, to be fair, the, uh, the way I've done this isn't as sophisticated as the lens blur effect, so there are still times when you'll need to use the lens blur, but uh, if you want something that looks a lot like lens blur and uh, allows you to create that uh, depth map um, without having to go to all the trouble of creating a depth map, this is how you do it. So let's create a brand new composition and I'm using the uh, 720p preset. I've already got some solids made, so I'll just drag them down, drop them in, got the white background, and I'll create my text. Okay, now if you're using uh, After Effects CS5 or 5.5, um, if you select a text layer and hit Control and Home, it'll line it up roughly in the center which is a bit of a time saver. Now I'm just going to hit S and scale it up so it goes towards the edges. Okay, so what we're going to use is the uh, straight fast blur effect. Um, so to do that we're going to create a brand new adjustment layer. Go to the effects and presets panel, find the fast blur effect and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Now in the effect controls panel, we're going to increase the blurriness, I don't know, probably about 15. And uh, if you want to avoid that kind of darkening it gets around the edges, just uh, toggle the repeat edge pixels box and that'll just clean that up. Now obviously this has applied the effect to the entire area, which is not what we want. So uh, with the adjustment layer selected, grab your ellipse tool and just create a new ellipse over the top. Now that'll actually uh, create a mask um, and as you can see the default settings are the add mask. We want to change that to a subtract mask so go to your mask properties and select subtract from the drop down menu and that'll just reverse it. Now if I uh, zoom in nice and close you'll see that the problem we have here is we've got this really really sharp edge in between the blurry and the not blurry areas. Now the uh, the way we fix that is to twirl down the mask properties and just increase the mask feather. Now what that does is as the mask gets feathered the fast blur effect tapers off which is exactly the same as the lens blur effect with a depth map so you know there's nothing really stopping you from creating multiple masks and uh, having a bit of a play with the uh, with the depth map that you're creating here. Now if you want to uh, play around with the blur area, obviously you can move the mask around as much as you like. And of course you can work the uh, expansion areas as well. So I'm just going to cut down the blurriness to about 10 because I think it's a little bit heavy. And there you go. So uh, that's a nice, easy um, way to get that lens blur effect without actually having to wait for the lens blur to render. Hope you found it useful. Um, the kinetic typography tutorial is a bit of a chunky one, so it's going to take me a while to produce. So uh, keep your eyes open for that one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.